Hello everyone, Southern Star 71 here. Bring you an LEC update video after week two is complete. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Now, here's the standings if that's all you're interested in. Vitality is the only 5 and 1 team. 4 and 2 sees XK Gaming, Mad Lions, Team Medias, and G2 Esports. Team Heretics is the only 3 and 3 team. Koi and Fnatic are 2 and 4, and Astralis and Excel are 1 to 5. If you are only after the standings, you can show yourself to the door now. But before you do that, like, comment, and subscribe. Now here's a bit of a depth. Uh, everything that is in the video assumes four wins. Get you to groups. Top eight. Get you to groups. Entering this first match of the day, XL was a 1-4. Astralis was 0-5. If XL wins this one, they'll be 2-4. And they need to win two games next week. Astralis, however, if they win this one, will be likely to go one and two next week. And that would put them at two and seven, which shouldn't make groups at all. In early, Innovate by Astralis got nothing. First Blood did go to Astralis, though. Odo died on Cassante to Finsnar. Astralis uh, went up 2 to nothing on kills. The first dragon went to XL. They or TP to the bot lane, puts off an XL dive. Astralis then redove and got a kill on Tarkovus. It gave them a 2,000 gold lead. 113 got the uh, first Herald. Tarkovus died during the fight just really after the Herald. Astralis went up a 4 0 in kills. With almost a 3,000 gold lead. Kape then killed Tarkovus to make it five kills to none. Harold went into the bot lane, getting some plates. It's a 4k gold lead now. Bot lane tier one finally goes down. And Astralis gets first break. The second Harold goes to 113. Finn gets the tier one top turret. Astralis needs to accelerate the game. XL needs to slow it down. Dragons are one each. It's a big fight. Which goes XL's way. They're still down 6-2 in kills though. 2-1 to one in dragons and 4-1 to one in towers. XL rushes Baron. They get out with only 2 buffs. Astralis leads 9 kills to 3. Patrick has all 3 kills on his Draven. Astralis gets 2 more kills. Goes up 11-3. to three. Dragon fight is soon to come. It would be so important if Astralis gets it. Finn and Kobe play very well. Astralis gets the dragon and two more kills. It'll take a huge throw for XL to go back into the game. Astralis pulls off a of Baron to get three additional kills. Then they move in to take Baron. They recall to set up for Dragon Soul. They then get Dragon Soul. And Astralis uh, should win easily now that they're double off and lead everywhere. Kills are 17 to 4. Astralis get an ace and take the Nexus. The win by Astralis pretty much eliminates both teams for making groups. They will need to go 3 and 0 to be at 4 and 5. And two wins to get to 3 and 6 might be a stretch since they've only won one game in the first two weeks combined. I would expect Astralis and XL to not make the groups. XL has to play Team Heretics, SK, and Vitality, while Astralis has SK, Fnatic, and Koi. The next match of the day was a 3-2 BDS against a 4-1 Mad Lions team. I expected Mad to win the game, and if they do, it would be their fifth win of the uh, Spring Split, or excuse me, Winter Split, which would lock up groups for them at five wins. And it could possibly set up a Showdown with G2 if G2 wins later today against the Vitality. They could both be 7-1 entering the last day of games. But if BDS does pull the upset, both teams are now 4-2. While BDS has the tough week 3, and they need this match more. Adam does get first blood on Chasey. May Lions do get the first Herald. BDS fails to get first dragon. 
Uh, about two minutes later, Mad gets the first second. Adam gets some help to take down Chasey again. After the Herald is unleashed on Mid, Nuke, with the help of his tower, survives the dive and gets a kill on Iski. At the 14 and a half minute mark, Adam gets first brick. Adam is on fire rope. Now, Adam kills Niski with a tiny bit of help, and the second hero goes to Man Lions. Adam gets another tower, this time in the bot lane. Mad gets second dragon. BDS tower is up 3,500 gold. Carzy dies, but Nuke and Le LeBrav also die in return. The Herald goes mid and gets off two charges. Top tier one goes down to Niski. Niski dies. It is 6 to 2 in kills for BDS. Mad leads 2 to 0 in dragons and 3 to 2 in towers after Carzy takes the last tier one. Hilly and Carzy then die, which leads to a 21 minute Baron for BDS. BDS then get their first dragon. Adam dies and Shell gets jumped on by Niski. It's now 8 to 4 in kills. Niski then gets the tier 2 top, but dies in a chase down. Chasey gets tier 2 on the bot lane. Um, it's now 6 to 3 in towers. Although they're down 9 to 4 in kills. Dragons are even at 2 apiece, and both teams lose their ADC. Mad goes for Baron, it resets. Niski then dies. So BDS goes for Dragon, and they go up 3 to 2. Chasey gets two enters, and Mad is up 8 to 4 in towers. Nuke and Lebrov die. Mad get Dragon Soul and kill three. They go for the win while double buffed. They win the game, or excuse me, that's BDS. I skipped the line. Nuke and Lebrov died. Mad get. No, Mad go for Baron. BDS stalls them out and survive with three. BDS start Baron and get it. BDS get Dragon Soul and kill three. They go for the win while double buffed. They win the game. Both teams down four and two. They both should make groups. BDS is a very tough week three. That starts with G2 and then Vitality. And they end with uh, Team Heretics. Mad start the week against Fnatic. Have uh, Team Heretics as the middle game. And they end with G2. Both teams could be five and four. Or Mad could be six and three. Like I said, with both teams now 4 and 2, BDS has to play G2 Vitality Team Heretics. Mad Lions at 4 and 2 plays Fnatic Team Heretics and G2. So both teams play G2 and Team Heretics, but Mad gets Fnatic while BDS gets Vitality. So I would expect Mad Lions still to uh, place higher than BDS. The next match is 3 and 2 SK. Against two and three Koi. I wrote down, can SK go 3 0 on the week? If they do, they become a real contender for a top two finish in this round robin. And so, week three schedule looks very weak. Koi need this game to get level at three and three. Week three is very tough. They realistically can finish three and six if they lose this game. I wrote, Malrang helps Larson get first blood. Then, Bot Lane comes alive as X and Kick and Doss take down Trinity. Irrelevant dies to a Larson dive. SK get the first dragon. Trimby and Gomp die to the SK bot lane. Then there's a pause. After the pause, SK gets the first Herald and Alicia in bot lane. One dragon charge. No, sorry about that. One dragon each now. SK takes second Herald. Quickly put on top lane and take the tower. They get a second charge. Koi takes dragon to go up two to one. SK has all three outers down. While Koi has no towers. Pause again. Koi starts up and gets the dragon, which is the third for them. SK then aces them to go up 8 to 2 in kills. They move to Baron to take it to increase the goal lead to 6k. Koi gets a tower and SK answers with two towers and then to him. Goal lead moves to 6.5k. SK takes the enter on the bot and also get the in him. Inhibs down on top and bot. Inhibs down on top and bots. SK goes off and gets two kills to go up 11 to 2. SK gets both Nexus Towers and the Nexus. So SK was the game and goes to 4 and 2. 
They won against G2 and Vitality. They should easily make groups. That's week three for them. It's crazy. Koi drops two and four. They're only safe by one match. They do have Vitality and G2 to start next week. I expect them to be two and six heading to their last match against Astralis, which could be where the loser goes into the bottom two and the winner makes the groups as the eighth seed. Again, SK has Astralis, XL, and Fnatic. Should be three easy games for them. They should end up seventh and two. SK will be first, or excuse me, SK will be second or third in this first round robin. Koi has Vitality, G2, and Astralis. Like I said, they could be now two and six and have to play Astralis. Astralis would probably be one and six. They play Fnatic though, and Koi to wrap it. Again, Astralis could make it in. The last game of the day was Fnatic against Team Heretics. Both were two and three entering the match. So the game to decide who easily makes groups next week and the team who needs at least a two and one week three. Both teams need this game to get a 3-3 three and, three and make groups a reality. Fnatic stomp would make fans of Fnatic feel like things have gotten better. While a TH win, no matter the manner of victory, makes Week 3 more realistic for them to make groups. TH steals Fnatic's right buff. They also get the first track in. Fnatic always get a kill on Mercer, but miss out on it. Fnatic then steal the Herald, but don't get the eye. Also, Wonder dies for first blood. Fnatic, though, goes up 2-1 in kills when they move on Chicos and Ebi. Fnatic have a lead just over 2,000 gold. They then even up dragons at 1. A four-man dive gets Ebi, Ebi and a tower. Humanoid dies to Ruby and Yego. Team Heretics also get a tower. Wonder takes the bot tier 1 tower, while Yego secures the second Herald. Herald gets the bot T1. Fight is Zeus. Fnatic wins the fight 4-3. Team Heretics start the dragon, but lose a fight 2-0 and lose the dragon. Fnatic is now up 9-5 to five in kills and a lead in gold by 4k. Razork donates his life. TH start the Baron, but pull off of it when Mercy gets under 100 HP. TH then take the Baron, but lose 4, along with 2 turrets for a turret. Fnatic up 5,500 gold. 13 to 6 in kills, 5 to 3 in towers. But Razork donates his life again, and TH takes the tower. Wonder takes it in a hip tower. But TH wins a big fight, 4 to 2. They shoot Jack Spectre Blade out of his uh, for loving mind. Dragon goes to TH, who is still down 3 to 2 on dragons, down 7 to 5 on towers, and down to 14 to 11 on kills. The goal lead has shrunk to 2k for Fnatic. Razork again donates his life. Ebi then dies in bot lane. TH does take Baron while all of that was going on though. So both teams are now on soul point. Um, gold is almost even now. And this lady it really doesn't matter. Hair takes ace for deck, only losing Ruby. They then get two in the hips before going to the base. They grab Baron. Nope, sorry about that. They do get Baron and two more kills. They then rush and get the third in hip. Both Dexas Towers falls, and shortly after that, the Dexas itself falls. But next game against Astralis might be the decider if they make groups, as they should lose to Mad and SK next week. Team Heretics at 3-3 three and three need to defeat XL, so the games against Mad Lions and BDS don't really matter. Next week, Team Heretics plays XL, Mad Lions and BDS. So if they can beat XL, they'll be on four wins. So, like I said, the matches against Mad Lions and BDS really don't matter. But now I got two and four. Need at least one win, probably two wins to secure top eight. They play Mad Lions, then Astralis, then SK. So the match against Astralis is probably the most winnable match they have. We will see if Fnatic 
can't survive the first round robin and make the top eight. We'll look at the standings once more. Retelli at five and one is locked in because the best Astralis in Excel getting it to is four and five. So five wins is guaranteed in. So Vitelli at five and one in SK, Mad Lions, BBS, and G2 at four and two should be safe. Even if they lose all three games next week. Heretics is three and three. A one to two week should get them through. Koya and are two and four. The main thing is for this say Ed Vestralis and Excel are both one and five. I have learned on my recaps that I need to space out each line so I don't get to sort of lost in what I give you. But I do write down what happens as each match occurs. So next week I have learned I'll double space. So I won't get confused on my read back of what happened. Once again, thank you for watching this far. Like, comment, and subscribe. Have yourself a great day. This has been the LEC Recap after week two. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.